Welcome back to Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin, I'm Dr. O, and I'm here today with very important updates for our medical grade ozone uh, generator. The updates we will include in, uh, in the package of ozone generator will improve your end user experience uh, with our ozone generator. Uh, update number one, oxygen filter. We will now include in every package oxygen filter. It's extremely important to use it. As you can see, this oxygen filter attached to even my medical uh, tank, uh, but most of, most of you do not have access to medical tanks uh, because in the United States, it, in order to get medical tank, it requires a uh, doctor's prescription. Most of you buy or, or exchange industrial tank. When you buy brand new tank uh, from, uh, from a stores, welding stores, it's important to fill up this tank because the tank is new and it, there is no rust inside and you have to find a place where you do not exchange it but they will fill up the tank for you, your brand new tank. Unfortunately, it's not easy to find a place when they will fill up the tank for you on the spot. Most of the time, welding supply store, industrial supply store will exchange it for you, this, this industrial tank. And here is a good example of industrial tank. This is not too old, but that's a typical tank that you will get from industrial supply store. Unfortunately, this type of tanks, because it has oxygen, and oxygen is very uh, active uh, oxidizing gas, this tank will tend to accumulate uh, iron oxide inside. That's why you will need to use oxygen filter on oxygen line. And make sure you maintain this filter. I recommend changing this filter every month. So that filter will filter fine purity from oxygen tank and that uh, iron oxide will not get to uh, plasma chamber of ozone generator that will damage it. Uh, for some of you who called us and they said this is very we have very old old rusted tank but it's the only way we we can have it so I recommend even put two filters in the same line so as you in the serious connection they will filter even better. For instance, why it's important to have it? Let me show you the, an example. This is two glass plasma, uh, plasma cells. One on the top and uh, the one on the bottom. As you can see, this is what I'm holding it in my hands. As you can see, one on the top it has yellow uh, tinted oxygen line and since oxygen the iron oxides get to the plasma generator so as you can see it's burning very hot and it's this foggy foggy substance in between and even it has some tints outside so when when these fine particles will get to that that glass uh, glass plasma plasma cell is going to short it out and is going to create a lot of foam, a lot of smoke and is going to damage it. Uh, this one it's damaged so but it's a brand new but simply was cracked. I removed it as you can see it, it's a clear. So when you're fitting dirty oxygen to plasma cell as I said, it will damage not only the cell, it will damage the unit and that will void your warranty. So just make sure, as I said, you use oxygen filter all the time. We recommend even using oxygen filter on, uh, on the medical tanks because medical tanks, we noticed we, it has some minor amount of aluminum oxide. It's like a grayish, a grayish substance. So make sure you always uh, use 
oxygen filter and maintain it. This is extremely important. And as I said, now this filter comes with every generator that you purchase from us. But after that, after one, one month, if you use it weekly, uh, please maintain it and buy the new one. Second important update that will be enclosed in every generator, it's a one-way valve. Okay. So what does it do? It, this is one-way valve used to be built inside the ozone generator. But we have many questions asking us, do you have one-way valve and where it's located and so on and so forth because we don't, it, many, many um, other ozone generator comes with external one and we decide to do it external. Uh, that's, that's why you need to use it when you do water ozonation or oil ozonation. It just simply attaches right to the top and your output comes from a, it's a lure a female connector so it's the same uh, the same connector so you attach your peripheral right out right on the top. When you do not use it uh, water ozonation or oil as an issue, like you use bagging or you use um, with the uh, other applications uh, like here insufflations or as I said or bagging or sauna you really don't need it but if you use the water for some of you who use water for ear insufflations uh, so make sure you use it as well because it's going to bubble through the water and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to your ear insufflation why it's important the some tanks some regulators uh, when uh, when you use it on the tank develops a vacuum inside and when you when you leave the uh, water or oil connected to the line is is gonna is gonna suck on, suck into the chamber that oil or water and again it will damage uh, damage the unit as well that will void the warranty as well. So we do have on the top of the generator message disconnect all equipment after it's used. This is extremely important. Just make sure it's your it's it's your routine when you connect equipment to a generator, you use it, you shut it down and then you disconnect all equipment from a from a, from a port. No need to disconnect the oxygen line but please do disconnect all equipment from the top that will uh, prevent uh, damaging the backflow and damaging uh, generator. I think this is extremely important updates and I'm glad I can present it to you because it came from our experience it's, a, it's, it's to give you best ozone uh, treatment and best ozone therapy practice and safe at home.